everybody and welcome back. Uh, we've got another mountain house ration here and uh, this is the new packaging. We have uh, fushili pasta with Italian sausages, uh, rustic tomato sauce, uh, fire roasted vegetables, minced garlic and basil. Freeze dried. So uh, mountain house usually knocks it out of the park. I feel like I did try this one a long time ago. I could be wrong, I don't really remember, but we're gonna do it again. So, what is this, two serving? Yeah, two serving pouch. So 500 total calories in this uh, pouch. They do break it out single and full servings there. Uh, as normal, tons of sodium, you know, good amount of protein, blah, blah, blah. Usually pretty similar. Here are some of our ingredients lists, and I'm loving this. I, I, I do love the condensed lists of ingredients. It's just nice to see that you don't have to like read a bunch of stuff that you have no idea what it is. <clears throat> Again, a lot of that does preserve stuff, but uh, still, it's tough to sit there and eat when you can't pronounce half the words. <laughs> oh man, little store here. It's known as secret homemade recipe. It's fun. All right, so we're looking for about a cup and a half of water. You know me, I do my own thing on that, but uh, that's their recommendation. And, by the way, there's a little Yeti down there. <laughs> All right, let's open her up and see what we got. Take out your oxygen absorber, don't forget that. Smells good. Definitely smell the peppers in there. Got the uh, spiral noodles. Big old chunks. Let's go ahead and add a little water in here and see what it does. General rule of thumb for me, I just like to sort of make sure everything is covered on that first, first run. And then stir. And then usually in about five, you know, about ten minutes, maybe eight minutes. I can tell if this is going to be super duper thick or if I need to add a little bit more water. Um, this, I'm going to actually add a little bit more because it's already pretty thick sauce just as it is right here. And I mean, yeah, there we go. That's, that's a little soupy, but um, the noodles, like with rice, do absorb a lot of that water so you can always underdo it because you can't take it away but um, once you do these for a while you'll kind of get the hang of it and, and you'll be able to judge a little bit better seeing as I've been doing them for a while that's how I do them but anyway we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for you know 10 12 ish minutes and uh, we'll be back and we'll get it on the tray all right, here we go. Big reveal time. Oh yeah, that's tightened up nicely. Very nice. Good amount of pasta in there too. Ooh, nice and steamy. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but... I'll tell you what, I actually really like the spiral noodles. I'd use those in a ton of stuff. Let's try it out. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> God, Mountain House just... They've been really hitting it out of the park here lately. Hmm, mm hmm. So the noodles... I let it go... <clears throat> like, literally just long enough. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but, you know, beep, beep. <laughs> So they're uh, they're not mushy. They're they're basically as al dente as you can get in a freeze dried packet of noodles. Yeah, it's very nice. The sauce, a little sweet. Got some carrots in here. I've ran across a <clears throat> couple of little bits of sausage. You can kind of see them in that bite. Right there's one. So, 
Yeah, you definitely get the um, the uh, peppers and the onion, or the onion, a little bit of onion flavor. Sausage is there, not super overwhelming, but it's there. This is just a really nice tomato sauce. Like legitimately, that's a that's a nice tomato sauce. Like, <clears throat> I'd take that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's really good. I actually am really enjoying this one. So, God, Mountain House, man. Whew, they've just been killing it. Killing it. Um, so, yeah, Fusilli pasta with Italian sausage. Just a really nice, uh, really nice tomato sauce. Peppers, onions, sausage. How can you go wrong? Actually, I want to. I want to see. It does this have carrots in it? Uh. <clears throat> no, I'm just insane. Okay, so maybe that's just a pepper that I, I would assume it's just a pepper then. Yeah, just like a. <clears throat> it actually kind of looks. Nah, it's a red pepper. It just looks slightly almost freezer burn. Yeah, it's red pepper. Dang. It'll look like a carrot. <laughs> it was definitely orange. <laughs> and yes, I do know that there are orange peppers out there, but there's just a little discoloration on the red pepper. Anyway, great pasta. I'm really enjoying that. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of my lunch and get that out of the way so thank you very much for stopping by for another video if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit the old subscription button for me uh you know it strokes my ego when i know i have a bunch of subscribers right <laughs> no, i do this for nobody it's just fun for me but anyway for those of you who have subscribed thank you very much you guys are awesome um and you know don't forget hit the old like button if you enjoyed yourself and uh leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you so we will uh, we'll catch you later. See ya.